What's up everyone, it's Trevor back with another video and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I have a lot of upcoming videos that are gonna be trying to keep it real with you guys, trying to let you know whether I hate, love, or despise my life for the next four years throughout dental school. So before I jump into the video, I want to share the crappy story of the day. Um, if you guys have watched any of my old videos, you know that I, I really like going to the gym. I use it to de-stress, get away from whatever's going on in life. And I'm a firm believer in if you look good, you play good. So I'm always worried about if my gym outfit looks solid. If I'm looking good in the gym, I feel like I just lift better for some reason. Anyways, I have a favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones that I wear every single day. And it blocks out. They're like noise canceling. So it blocks out everything that's going on around me. Can't hear anything thing when I have them in and I couldn't find them this morning. I looked for about 20 minutes and finally found them in a pocket of some shorts I wore yesterday and they're completely busted. One of the the battery flew out and these wires got disconnected so totally not fixable and they're ruined. And I had to go back to the old white Apple headphones that plug into your phone. I hate having my phone in my pocket when I'm trying to um, exercise that just flops around and it's the worst. So my workout today was crap because of that. But uh, if any of you guys know some great headphones, Bluetooth headphones, put it down in the comments because I'm in the market. Okay, let's jump into today's video, which is all about going on interviews. It's the time of year when a lot of you guys are gonna be getting the emails saying, congratulations, we wanna interview you at a certain school, and you guys are gonna be doing a ton of preparation. And it's really nerve wracking. It's a lot of pressure. You're gonna sweat a ton in suits or dresses that aren't really made for sweating. So here are a few tips and tricks I used or I learned uh, as I was going through the interview process myself last year. Okay, tip number one is to relax and be yourself. And I, I know this is really hard. The interview process is really stressful. You traveled across the country, you're in a really nice suit, and you're in front of complete strangers that are asking you a lot of tough questions asking you to talk about yourself which i personally hate doing but it's definitely possible and it's the best thing that you guys can do relax and just be genuine be happy and be yourself and don't try to be noticed by the questions that you ask there's always one or two students in your interview group and you guys will find this out that ask either a million questions or they try to come up with a question that makes them sound smarter than everyone else or more intelligent just because they feel like that somehow is going to be the thing that gets them into the school. And I promise you that's not the case at all. Most of the time when everyone's in a group setting, the professors or faculty members are not paying attention to what you guys are doing or how you're acting. They really just want to give you information about the school so that you'll pick them over another school that you get accepted to. One thing that everyone needs to remember is that the admissions committees, they're people too, and they want to accept students that they are going to enjoy being around for the next four years because more likely than not, they're going to be around you guys for more hours of the day than they will their family. And so they really want to choose students that are going to be happy and uh, seem like they can handle pressure and stress when it comes time to take three or four finals in just a few days. So if you guys can just be energetic without being overbearing and be genuine, have real conversations, be interested in who the faculty members are and the teachers are that you come in contact with, that will get you much farther than trying to talk someone's ear off. One thing that really helped me relax and be comfortable in front of complete strangers and talk about myself was striking up conversations with random people. So whenever I was out at the store buying groceries or um, going to get food and I was just sitting there, instead of going on my phone and texting or looking through Instagram, I would try to strike up a conversation with whoever was next to me and one thing people love to do is talk about themselves so if you can ever just keep asking questions find out what that person is interested in it'll make any conversation that you have be natural and flow a ton better than just trying to talk about yourself because mo more than likely that person doesn't care okay tip number two is to remember that you are interviewing the school just as much as the school is interviewing you and I think I forgot this all the time you are more than likely going to have more than one acceptance. And if you do, you're going to have to pick which school you like the best. 
So while you're there, try not to focus solely on the interview part and kind of soak in everything that's going on around you. Pay attention to how the faculty treats you, how the faculty treats the current students there, whether or not you would be friends with the current students outside of school. So I actually have a personal story about this tip I, from the moment I knew dental school is what I wanted to do, I had one particular dream school set apart from all the rest. It was, and the day I got an interview to that school, I was happier than anyone on the planet. And it was the first interview I went to, I was so excited. I got there, I was feeling good in my new suit, and I was completely let down. I didn't feel like the faculty was treating any of the interviewees like they should it kind of they were like bothered that they had to be there and then I met some of the current students and they really weren't people that I wanted to hang out with outside of school I felt like they were just the school was only concerned about getting the highest GPA students that they could to either focus on research or specializing I have no idea but it just the program wasn't for me and it was kind of devastating because for years I had expected that to be my number one school and that if I got in there 100% I was going to go there but my interview day actually changed my opinion entirely. So you guys should really focus on how comfortable you feel at uh, at your interview because how the faculty treats you during your interview is more than likely going to be how they treat you for the next four years. So pay attention to how your gut feels while you're there and write that down. Everyone brings like a little notepad um, on their interview and so all the feelings and impressions that you're getting from everyone around you and how you like the school's facilities, be sure to write those down because months down the road when you're having to decide which school you wanna go to, it, you forget. Everything kinda of meshes together and you forget the feelings that you had while you were there. So be sure to write it down, keep it all organized in your notebook and you'll be really glad you did. Okay, the next tip I have is to practice your responses. I'm gonna throw a link down below to an SDN thread that has a ton of different interview questions and I practiced those religiously. Almost every day, about a month before I had my first interview, I was on there going through each question and practicing them out loud, and I can't stress that enough. It's really easy to think of answers in your head, but when you actually go to say them out loud, all your thoughts get jumbled up and it doesn't come out clear at all. And so if at all possible, try to find uh, another pre-dental student who is going on interviews as well or a friend or your parents or family member, anyone who will listen to you, sit down, have them ask you the interview question and practice your answers because I promise you it will go so much smoother on the real interview day if you are used to saying it out loud and um, coming up with all the stories and experiences that you want to share beforehand and it'll just flow naturally. And one of the tricks to not having memorized answers so it doesn't kind of sound robotic is to, for each question, kind of have stories and experiences that you want to share for each one in the back of your head. And that way you're not necessarily saying the same thing every time. You're just bringing up uh, an old memory, um, an old story that happened to you and you can kind of relate it to whatever question they ask, and that will improve your answers a ton. Okay, so the last tip I have is once again to just relax and be yourself, be genuine, be confident, be happy, and be someone that you'd wanna be around for the next four years. Because in the end of the day, that's all the admissions committee wants to see. They just want to get to know you as a person and figure out if you're going to be successful at their school and whether or not they can be a good fit for you and you be a good fit for them. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button down below. And I think our record right now is 20 likes for a single video. So let's go for 30 on this one. I believe in us. If you haven't done it already, hit the thumbs up button and I will see y'all in the next one. Yeah.